This video is demonstrating how to make a gradient in Illustrator. You're going to start with the rectangle tool, drag across your entire background if you'd like to fill your background with color. You're going to have white as the box because over here we've got white fill with black stroke. Click on the fill to pull that to the front. Go to your black arrow and you can pick a color just to start. I would recommend you pull your swatch palette out meaning you pull from the word swatches and drag on your desktop. And your gradient palette, you do the same thing. Click on the word gradient, pull out to your desktops. These are fly-in panels, so they won't fly in and out and get you confused. And with your background selected, if you click on this bar here, this is your gradient slider, this is what your box is going to turn to when you click on it. You can adjust the sliders to make the gradient more or less intense. You can double click on the boxes to change the color. But you're stuck in black and white mode right now. To bring colors in, click, hold, drag, and drop into your gradient bar. If you don't like a color, you can click and drag it off the bottom of the gradient slider and adjust as you like. If you'd like to create a round gradient, you can go here to your radial gradient. Again, adjust that as you like. Change if it's round or oval. Get different effects that way. You can pull in colors again and adjust as you like. You can change opacity so that the gradients are see-through if that is something you like too. If you want to change the direction of the gradient, so right now our linear is going left to right, you have to use the gradient button on the left hand side. So that's your gradient tool. This is your gradient slider. With the tool, you'll see a bar, an active live bar of your colors and where they land. On, in your box, in your selected area. If you want to change that, you can, or you can click and drag somewhere else to move that gradient where you'd like it to be. Don't forget to click your black arrow to deselect your gradient so it stays in your background. 